Hi darlings, welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a spring Topshop haul as part of the Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit. I really hope you're enjoying this week long of spring style content to get your wardrobes ready for spring. I couldn't not do a spring Topshop haul. It is this time of year when my favourite retailers start to drop the most beautiful pieces ready for the spring season and already I'm seeing so many things that I'm in love with ranging from beautiful pink pastel blouses, bow details, Brodery Anglais, all of my favourite kind of style details really come out in full force from both high street retailers and more premium retailers at this time of year. So I can't help myself but go a little bit spendy on my favourite websites. So I'm going to be sharing with you a few things that I've bought over the past, I would say, two to three weeks from Topshop. I've made maybe two or three orders. Hopefully a lot of this stuff will still be in stock. I know a lot of you guys um, let me know that things sell out really quickly after I feature them, so don't hang around if you see anything here that you absolutely love. I've turned this video around as quickly as I possibly can. A few of these things actually arrived this morning and this video is going out tonight, so fingers crossed we'll have a lot of these bits still in stock and everything will be linked down below if you do want to pick anything up. So without further ado, let's actually get started with the blouse that I'm wearing now. It's possibly my favourite thing that I have picked up from Topshop in the past few weeks. I knew as soon as I saw it on the website that I would just have so many different ways of styling it. I will pop a picture on the screen now wearing this blouse, a really beautiful way of um, wearing this. I paired it with a really romantic, in fact I have the skirt here. The skirt unfortunately is not Topshop, it's actually Tory Burch, a little bit more premium, um, but I paired this blouse with this skirt and took a very cliche photo with a blossom tree and I just absolutely love those photos. Um, and also this headband which is my new obsession, it is not the Prada one, I got this from, uh, actually from Etsy, I'll leave the link to this exact one down below. It was about £15 I think, it was shipped over from Australia, didn't have any problems with it, so yeah, definitely recommend picking up one of these gorgeous little headbands. I love having my hair away from my face and I think they're super girly for spring. So yeah, I paired this beautiful blouse with the lovely bow detail with this very romantic floaty midi skirt for a gorgeous spring look. But I could also pair it with white jeans or suede skirts, things like that. There are just loads of different ways that I'll be styling this blouse. I really like the length of the sleeves as well, even when they're pulled all the way down they're just three quarter sleeves to be honest I normally just pull them up a little bit and the colour is just absolutely gorgeous so it was not really a tough decision to add this to my basket. Another blouse that I picked up that I knew would be a little bit of a Marmite product and you guys might have spotted it already is this one with the ponies on it. I bought this because I knew instantly it was a really good dupe for the Chloe blouse, I'll leave a picture of that one on the screen here, so a really good way of getting the Chloe look for less. I actually paired this with a pair of white culottes from Topshop and my Chloe test bag um, I did a blog post on that outfit actually so I'll leave that link down below. It was a real, really Chloe inspired western look especially with cowboy inspired mules which I also have to show you. I'm a huge fan of mules and cowboy boots so when I saw this pair in Topshop I thought it was a really nice combination of the two. So they are pointed toe slip on mules with a little chunky heel but then the detail on the toe is very much western inspired so a really nice way of combining two of spring's most flattering and wearable trends. While we're talking about shoes, I'll also show you this pair. And I actually bought this pair to show you guys a bit of a hack because I know that so many of you absolutely love my Nicholas Kirkwood mules with the pearl underneath, pearl underneath the heel. I have been wearing these so much and I've been getting so many compliments and I know so many of you guys absolutely love these but I appreciate the price tag is pretty high. And one of my Instagram followers, possibly a YouTube viewer as well, actually sent me her very own hack. She'd picked up a pair of shoes very similar to this pair and then got a a pearl I guess from a craft shop and just super glued it underneath under the heel and I thought that was a really brilliant hack so I thought I would do it myself do a bit of DIY with this pair of boots and then they're not too similar to my Nicholas Kirkwood's so then I just have two really beautiful pairs of white shoes the texture of them is really similar to Nicholas Kirkwood's again they've got the pointed toe which I find really leg elongating and very flattering and then just a little heel so these will probably be a little bit more wearable for every day so I'm gonna do the pearl super glue hack on these and then I'll probably wear them with jeans, midi skirts, maxi skirts, so many different ways of styling white boots for springtime. So a few things that arrived in my order this morning, so fingers crossed they will still most definitely be in stock. First of all, this really natural coloured, I guess you'd call it kind of like a 
boiler suit jumpsuit style. It's got a really relaxed shape to it. The silhouette is really loose and it's going to be incredibly comfortable if you're traveling or if you're doing a road trip or something or you just want something really comfy to wear in the office for spring and summer months then I thought it would be really lovely. You could add your own belt to this but it does actually come with its own little waist belt so you can tie it in, cinch it in at the waist. It's got pockets as well, a detail that we all absolutely love. £42 so not too expensive. And I also really like the button detail on these, not sure if you can see in detail, sorry about my nude nails, I'm getting them done today. But the button detail I think is really lovely. This looks like the kind of thing that you could get from brands like Faithful or you know those kind of beachy Australian type brands that really relaxed but still quite natural look so this with a shell necklace and some really nice sandals for summer holidays and those warmer spring days I think is going to look really nice and again I find the color really flattering and really versatile so it goes with lots of things in my spring wardrobe something that I thought would style really beautifully with this is this gorgeous little bag this I thought was very designer inspired it certainly doesn't look like a high street bag and yet it was 27 pounds things like this with this kind of more striking design detail yes you do see them from designers on places like Netflix Porter, but where they're a little bit more statement I definitely don't want to be spending hundreds if not thousands of pounds on a bag like this so I always opt for high street versions of these slightly more statement but very on trend bag designs. The bag itself is a really lovely neutral colour so should go with most of my um, outfits for spring and it's a really good size as well it's going to fit my iPhone, my camera, daily essentials and I thought it was a nice combination of a fairly classic bag style for wearing here in the UK but the wooden nodules at the top give it a little bit more of a holiday vibe to it as well so it's one that I'll definitely be taking in my suitcase for any upcoming trips being pretty small and collapsible it shouldn't take up too much suitcase space either another clothing item is this lovely pink blouse with the lace detail on there if you watched my 10 spring wardrobe essentials video which I'll leave linked up on the screen you'll know that I mentioned a lovely white blouse I actually said in that video as a spring essential but if you do have a smart job where you have to wear a blouse every single day then mixing in a lovely pastel colour especially something with detail like this one it's got this lovely lace detail on there then it's a really nice way of adding your personality to your work outfit colour wise I would say this is very similar to the 2019 pressed rose trend and that 2019 trends video just hit a million views so thank you so much if you watched and shared that video so I did mention in that that pressed rose is one of the key trends for 2019 and I'm loving seeing it filtering it down into the high street with designs like this and design Designs like this. The next thing that I couldn't resist picking up from Topshop is this rose coloured trench coat. And another essential for a spring wardrobe, I would say, is a beautiful trench coat. This one perfectly matches a very classic and timeless silhouette with 2019's biggest colour trend. It's quite oversized, so if you are debating sizes, I would probably say to either size down or get your existing size depending on the look that you want. But it's great because while it's still quite chilly at the moment, I can wear this with chunky knits underneath. It is lined as well. So so it is pretty warm but then when the temperatures do start to rise I can wear this with thinner knits or just over blouses like the one that I'm wearing now. I think you guys will be seeing me wearing this a lot over my Instagram. Trench coats just go so perfectly over so many different outfit combinations and I'm so happy to have found one in such a classic style but in this beautiful pressed rose colour. By the way I got a size 6 and yeah it's a little bit oversized on me but I absolutely love how it looks. So you guys may know that I don't really love wearing jeans so I'm I'm very often looking for alternatives when it comes to trousers that cover my legs but aren't tight or uncomfortable so when I saw this pair of trousers oops let's just sort the button out I knew that I would get a lot of wear out of them again I could wear these with the skirt that I'm wearing now and for me this is the perfect option because they're really comfortable they are in my opinion as easy to style as jeans because of the neutral color I just find them so versatile so flattering and they go with so many different top options in my wardrobe so for example as I said the blouse I'm wearing now I also styled them with the pony blouse. You could also style these trousers with a chunky knit. There are literally so many different ways of styling a light coloured pair of trousers. This particular pair was very affordable. I find them really flattering because they are super high waisted and then because they finish just above the ankle they're really nice at showcasing your shoes. So whether you've done the hack to create the Nicholas Kirkwood pearl effect shoes or you've got some really lovely western style cowboy boots then these are the absolute perfect length for really showcasing your footwear. So 
I have been getting a lot of wear out of these lately, both on slightly smarter occasions and dressing them down for a day out in town, things like that. I also absolutely love slightly longer skirts in springtime as well. They pair really nicely with white t-shirts or again, slightly more chunky knits such as this one. I feel like this jumper just goes absolutely everything. I'm really sorry I should stop sharing it so much because it is sadly sold out. It's from And Other Stories. But anyway, um, I picked up this skirt from Topshop. I thought it looked quite vintage looking, a little bit retro. It's got a bit of a 70s style to it. It's got these buttons on the yoke area and then it's got these two side slits down at the bottom. So again, it's going to really show off either your legs or whatever footwear you've chosen. The brown shade neutral tone is going to fit in really well with my wardrobe. I'll probably wear this mostly with white or really light coloured tops, um, but as it is a neutral, it is going to go with lots of different things. So I do normally opt for designer sunglasses instead of buying loads of different high street ones throughout the summer, but if there is a style that's particularly on trend and I'm not sure if it's going to work for me or I just want to experiment, then I will go to the high street for sunglasses. And Topshop is always my go-to. I find the quality and the style really a good balance. So I picked up two pairs. Firstly, this little skinny pair. I typically find skinny sunglasses really hard to style, but then I do find that they look really nice in photos. They're probably going to look really silly with my headband on, but this particular pair, yeah, I can't even, can't even get them on, um, but this particular pair have this really lovely light tortoise shade colour, which I think will go really nicely with my skin tone and the different outfit options that I have. And then this slightly more square shape. I've seen a lot of my kind of style icons on Instagram wearing slightly more square sunglasses so I definitely wanted to give these a go and they were £14 so a fairly affordable way of experimenting with different sunglasses shapes to figure out what suits my face shape and if you are going on holiday you probably don't want to be wearing expensive designer sunglasses in the sea or chucking them in the bottom of your handbag so a few pairs of more statement high street sunglasses are always a great option for spring and summer. I thought that was it but I've just seen another little pile on my um, cushion of things to share with you. So I also got another little bag, this beautiful bag here, I thought it looked very designer-esque, I thought it had a bit of a Celine look to it, however I think I will actually send this one back because it's got a bit of a strange hang to it, if you hold it by the wooden handle, um, it kind of leans forward and I only think that's going to get worse when I've got stuff in it, so not the most ergonomical, which is a shame because I think it looks very designer-inspired, I think with different outfits it could have looked really cute but sadly just not hugely practical. And then lastly, I'm probably finishing with the best item here. I saw this Broderie Anglais jumpsuit on the Topshop website and I actually saw it in the shop window the other day as well. And this morning when I checked, it's just come out in a gorgeous rust shade as well. So I'll also leave the rusty shade one linked down below. It looks like this is a beautiful kind of pinafore design with a tie detail going around the waist. It's got these beautiful ruffles on the shoulder. I think at the moment, in fact, I could wear it over this blouse and that would look absolutely gorgeous just showcasing the bow detail but I could also wear this with one of my roll necks for example. I find that broderie anglais things in Topshop do typically sell out really quickly because they're always so striking but so affordable. This was £55 so actually not mega affordable but still pretty inexpensive. It does have little pocket details as well and it's just going to be a really lovely piece for both springtime here in the UK and summer holidays too so I'm excited to give that a try and pair that again with my shell jewellery and lovely little statement store handbags but also with a few more layers while the temperatures are a little bit chillier here in the UK right now. So those are my latest purchases from Topshop. I really hope you guys enjoyed looking through this haul with me. As I mentioned everything will be linked down below in case you want any more information or if you would like to shop any of them but don't delay if you do love any of these pieces because they probably won't be around for too much longer. And also, if you're not following me on Instagram, I do regularly post on Instagram stories when I see something that I love and that I'm snapping up from Topshop.com. So if you'd like to see what I'm choosing and stand more of a chance of getting them while they're in stock, then keep an eye on my stories and also just how I'm wearing them day to day. I'll often take mirror snaps just here and share with you how I'm wearing them. So give me a follow. I will leave my Instagram handle on the screen here. And darlings, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you are new, please do subscribe for so much content, not only during the Fashion Mumbler Spring Edit, but also three videos a week after that as well. So that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.